I'm Dr. Patty. I'm a psychologist, retired now, and I'm from Boston. I had a radio frequency ablation of a Morton Steroma on my left foot between the, I think, the third and fourth toes. I'd had it for over a year, um, and it could be as bad as a, a six or a seven on a 10 scale, or not so bad at all, a one or a two, depending on, I mean, if I were lying down and hadn't been walking on it, it didn't hurt. Um, if I wore my sandals, I wear mats, they're uh, an Israeli version of Birkenstocks. That was a little helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, but everything else that I tried um, really didn't do much for the pain except briefly. So it was, it was very uncomfortable. And um, I did everything that doctors and stuff I looked on, on the web to do. I tried a cortisone shot twice, useless. Mm -hmm. I couldn't walk very far, even with my sandals. Um, three or four blocks, most, if, I, if under good conditions, with my sandals. Um, but that was it. I couldn't walk on the beach, and I have a summer house on the beach. Well, it's a year-round vacation house, and we loved walking the beach. And that was, that was out for me, even with sandals. Mm. Uh, I could no longer do a lot of yoga poses, and yoga was my thing. Couldn't wear high heels. Not that I tend to wear high heels, but I liked being able to wear them once in a while. I really was very um, uh, restricted in terms of shoes that I could wear. I mean, I had a bunch of really cute flats, and I stopped being able to wear them. What you can do now that you couldn't do before? Everything. Everything. I can do. I'm back to doing yoga. The only constraint I have is I have a little arthritis in my right knee, but other than that, my feet are great. Um, I have no pain, absolutely zero, none. Great. Uh, I can walk for as far as I want to. I can walk on the beach. I can walk no matter what kind of shoe I'm wearing. I can actually wear high heels on occasion, which is, I think, kind of amazing. I can dance, and when it's bad weather, I don't have any pain. So I used to also have pain just from the weather. It's almost three years and it wasn't my last treatment. It was my one and only treatment, which is, I think, nothing short of a miracle. <laughs> but because you guys told me it could be two or three, that was common and normal. Yeah. I came in just before we went away for a month to Malibu uh, to a beach house and had the procedure. Um, and got to Malibu and walked the beach, and it was uh, the pain wasn't completely gone. It took a while actually uh, through that month for the pain, and the pain got less and less. Um, by the end of the month, I thought maybe I would call and come in and have another appointment, and then mm -hmm. I got back to Boston, and the pain was gone. Great. So it just took a while, but it, I mean, at the most a month, but it was completely gone, and it has never returned. I did my research, and um, I would say to anyone who's interested, radio frequency ablation or any of the other procedures that you use are not available everywhere. In fact, I don't know that they're available almost anywhere. I would say not to be concerned about the fact that it is not a procedure performed in a lot of places, because for some reason, you guys have the market on it. Um, you know what you're doing. You do it all the time, and it works. And I have no idea why it's not done everywhere because it's so successful. It's crazy to me. Mm -hmm. So it, it makes no sense to me why it's not done all over the world. Having chronic and acute pain like that really changes a person's life. It can mm -hmm. make irritate, irritable and unhappy, even depressed. Mm -hmm. uh, it cuts down on the things you do in your life. And so it was, you know, it was, it was incredible, worth any amount of time or effort. <laughs>